Protein is the building block that builds the muscles um, and many of the other structures within cells. And if you persistently had not enough protein in your diet, your muscle masses would get smaller and you would gradually waste your muscle mass away. The common sources of protein would be chicken, uh, meats, fish, um, and uh, 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 dairy products like milk uh, and milk-based products um, and eggs. Nuts and seeds also have some protein in them. Uh, in, a, in a chicken breast, which there are a couple here, or a, or a piece of fish of this, this sort of size, there'll be in between 25 and 30 grams of protein, and it's about a fifth of the wet weight of the meat. So if you think, well, I've got a 125 grams of chicken, then you're going to say that you've got about 25 grams of protein, roughly. For a sedentary individual in the day, uh, you know, for a sedentary gentleman of, you know, like myself who weighs about 80 kilos, then I need to eat 65 grams of protein a day as a minimum. Um, and that equates to sort of uh, a piece of chicken, a piece of fish, and maybe an egg for breakfast. So for an athlete, um, they require more protein than a sedentary individual because of their activity levels and they have a higher protein turnover. And we would recommend something in the range of 1.2 grams per kilogram body weight to 1.5 grams per kilogram body weight. So again, if you're an 80 kilogram athlete, that would equate to a 95 to 120 grams of protein in total a day, which then is between three and a bit and four chicken breast equivalents a day. So if you think you have one at your lunch portion, one at your evening meal portion, now you've got to increase your breakfast from you know one egg maybe to three or four eggs or some eggs and some yogurt and that's going to get them around the 95 grams a day. But if they wanted to go a little bit higher than that then at that stage we're going to require a, um, a sports nutrition supplement to get them the macromolecules they require um, at the time of their training. So when you have um, just trained or, and your muscle has been broken down in the training. After that training session, what you want to do is to encourage the recovery of your muscle mass. And that's good using a protein that's absorbed very quickly. So a whey-based product, um, where you get rapid absorption of, of the amino acids, um, allows rapid assimilation and, and recovery of the muscle mass. The use of a casein-based product, casein is absorbed much more slowly, and so the use of a casein-based product would be if you want to keep yourself in positive nitrogen balance over a long period of time. I think for people who are just starting and thinking about uh, starting training and wanting to get fitter and healthier, then the, the key steps to doing that are thinking about that you want to have three meals a day with some form of protein in it. And around your training session, it would be very useful to increase your protein to help your recovery from that training session. So that would be where a product uh, like a Recover Max or a Cyclone or a Pro Max would be a useful thing to consider taking.